Valerie, can you read the guiding question for us, please? How does a healthy human knee move, and how can what terrors with different properties help us decide a knee brace? Okay, so think about the model knee, and I want you to think about in which directions should the model knee move when the brace is on it. When I put that brace on, how should this really move? Individually, you're going to work on the ask sheet, and then we'll go over it together. And you're just going to put a check if the braced knee should move in the direction of the diagram. And you're going to put an X if the knee should not move in that direction. So let's just go over this together. Let's look at the first diagram of the knee movement. Test A. Should you be able to bend the lower leg backwards, Renaya? Yes, because it's easy for us because our knee is not injured. All right, let's look at the second one, test B. Should we be able to bend the front of the lower leg towards the front of the upper leg? No. Why? Because if you can, then you have an injured knee. Then you'd have an injured knee. Awesome. So we understand the challenge, right? You're going to design a knee brace for a model of an injured knee. We looked at the materials. We looked at the properties of the materials. And we know that we want the brace to support. So I'm asking you, what else do we want the brace to be able to do? You know when you go in the shower and you have a sh you don't want your hair to get wet and you wear a shower cap? Like your 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 knee brace should have something like that, but like not. So if I don't want to wear it in the shower, what what is something else I might want? We can take it off. So I want something that's easy to put on and take off, don't I? Right? Some of you asked me what the word was at the bottom of the page. Okay, and that word is called criteria. You just gave me criteria. Okay, criteria are specific things that your design needs to have or be able to do. Okay? How do you think we can test our knee brace designs? Test it on ourselves or on the um, injured knee model. Anyone? I see, I see some people agreeing. Your knee brace designs, they're going to be scored on how well they work after they've been taken on and off several times. So Miss Vera and Miss Justine are passing out two sheets. You're going to use this to help you score your design that you're going to create. Score one is your range of motion. You're going to compare the range of motion to a healthy knee with the range of motion of your braced knee model. When you used this yesterday, the healthy knee had a certain range of motion. So this time, when we test the injured knee, it should come out pretty close to the healthy knee because you're going to design the brace, right? We looked at the materials and their properties today, correct? Yeah. I want you to discuss in your group what materials you think you're going to use. And if you have time, just turn over one of the pages and I want you to sketch what your knee brace might look like. So, okay. So, how are we going to test the velcro to the thing? So, you know how there's a sticky part? Yeah, sticky, We're going to take the sticky part off. So, today, what I want to do in your groups do a little bit more imagining, then you're going to plan, and then you're going to create. You have two imagine sheets. Brainstorm some ideas for your knee brace design and write or draw your ideas below. I will put, so this is my idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attach something to the back of the Velcro, but I don't know what it is. Well, maybe. Oh, pardon? I'm not very good at drawing. I'm not, I'm, I'm a little bit good at drawing, I'm not that. So these are going to be the Velcro. These two things are going 
right here. They're going to yeah. be the Velcro. Interesting. Then this is going to be um, spring or pipe, pipe clean. Pipe clean. I think pipe clean is best. Put the Velcro here. Then the string. And then the the V brace is going to be here. String. Velcro. Okay. You could take it out and, and then put it back on. Put Velcro like on... Uh, you can use the t-shirt fabric on Yeah, well, this is all the t-shirt fabric right here. And then you can put, um, like, full paper on top of that. We can just, like, slip it from the top. Well, no, because if it was a human, like, they can't slip it from the top. Money from the phone. If you feel you and your teammates are ready to move on, just put your hand up and one of us will come around and we have a planning sheet that looks very similar to your imagine sheet. One right here and then like two things. But then something else is going to be connected with this so you can like go, okay, like, let the knees stay in place at least a little bit also like let it move a little. Um, string, okay. Pipe cleaner, like, like, like any so which range which design you want to use number one or number two? Me, let's test out both of them. So we use the uh, foam paper and the t-shirt and the other one. It's gonna be hard because you need to put it over your foot and then. Yeah. So let's use the buckle because you could just go. Yeah. That's the point, it has to be tight so then you won't move. Okay. Don't even move back. When you've come up with your first design and you've created it, remember you need to test it. When you're at that point, ask one of us for the goniometer because remember part of the test is you want it to come out as close to the range of motion as a healthy knee. Okay? So try and remember this. Now you know whenever we do one of these activities, I give you a reflection. Which will what, what did you focus on when you were trying to improve Renaya's group? This is our second design. The first one, when we put it on, it took to us 10 seconds because it, it wasn't attached, but when we did the second design, it was like only like one kind of fabric to pull off and on. Did you have to redesign it all because of range of motion? When you created your first design, was the range of motion the same or close to that of a healthy knee? Eliani shaking her head no. Eliani, can you tell me? Well, because the the knee was actually going in front, like it was twisting back. Like our knee can only go straight, but it can't go backwards. Right. Good. Good. Joshua and Jeremy, now you guys don't laugh because it's a learning process. Okay, you guys worked hard. They went through three designs. Can you tell me what, what happened with your first design? The first design, you couldn't move the legs. <laughs> it was like a cast. So the first one was like a cast, right. So what happened when you tried to use the goniometer to, to measure range of motion? It didn't move at all. It didn't move at all, OK. And then what happened with your second design? It stuck on one. Um, it didn't work either because it was for the tape, and the tape was holding it, and it didn't want to come off either. Okay, so they couldn't, it was too hard to get on and off. Third design. We could move it, but it wasn't durable. Why wasn't it durable? Because we only had like one strip of tape. We didn't have Okay, and part of that was 
if, if we had more Velcro, they would have gone for a fourth design. So they realized that this worked. Their range of motion was where they wanted it when you compare it to a healthy knee. But as far as durability over time, they knew that this piece of tape wouldn't hold up. OK, good. How about the two of you? Can you share? We went through two designs because our first one, the Velcro didn't want to like stick to the um, what's it called? The fabric really good. So then we had to like put tape on it, and then it stayed. And then when we put this part school. on, it just stayed. It like stayed on. It didn't come off. And our score was like a two, and then on our second trial was like a six. Okay. Any other groups like to share before we wrap up? How many of you? liked doing this activity. Thank you. You did a great job. These students at the end of a unit, they can say, wow, I did this. Whereas before, they didn't think at their elementary level they could be engineers. The other thing that I had noticed last year is it had a huge impact on my girls. The girls thought engineering was strictly for boys. And it really turned some of them around. And like, wow, girls can do engineering. And I think that that was key for them.